Hello, this is a very emotional James Hartigan bringing you the final PokerStars Daily Roundup from EPT San Remo, where we have made history on the PokerStars.net European Poker Tour. Today was the day we played down from eight to a champion, and we had our first ever two-time champion, Victoria Corin Mitchell, who came into the final as the short stack. While it was Emmanuel Parisse who was the first player out from the final table, the Frenchman made a huge and badly timed shove into Andrea Benelli, who made an easy call to eliminate him. Benelli also took care of Andrea Martic in seventh place, but this time he needed some luck to get the job done. Bruno Stefanelli moved all in three times over opening raises from Jordan Westmoreland and managed to get the first two through. It was third time unlucky though, as the American had a hand to call. It held, and Stefanelli departed in sixth. Another Italian fell in fifth in the shape of Andreas Guller. He made a big shove with a flop second pair and was called by Westmoreland, who had bottom pair and a nut flush draw. The flush draw didn't get there, but he found a third three on the turn, and that was good enough. Poker is a funny game, and you're never safe. Benelli was the big chip leader for a long time at this final table, but the wheels came off, and he departed in fourth place, despite getting his stack in with a dominating hand against Giacomo Fondero. He had to make do with a 166,700 euro payday. Let's take a quick break from the main event and focus on the high roller. Now, do you still need convincing that Ola Shemian is the real deal? The 21-year-old has been on a tear in the last two years, and he added another title to his cabinet today. Or well, back to the main event, and three-handed, there was a grotesque cooler when both Jordan Westmoreland and Victoria Karen Mitchell flopped trip tens, but Vicky had the better kicker. She took a huge chip lead at the final table, and Westmoreland was eliminated shortly afterwards. And so, it was heads up. Vicky with a huge chip lead over Giacomo Fundero, and this was the final hand of the final table. We're certainly going to a flop. Fandaro's got both flush draws covered as well. And Fandaro just calls, playing the aces deceptively. Oh boy! Two pair for Vicky. Stop it. Vicky now a huge favorite. Roughly a three to one favorite over Fandaro. And from Fundero's perspective, he is an absolute monster here. And he's really underrepped it as well, so he's going to convince himself that... I mean, Vicky can be betting anything. Yeah, exactly. I think he's reaching for a raise. And why wouldn't he? He does raise. And with authority. A check raise from Giacomo Fundero. 825,000. Vicky asks how much he has behind. The answer is about 3 million. Apologies, viewers, if you can hear our hearts beating right now. Vicky once again really taking her time in one of these huge moments just to make sure she has the situation assessed correctly. This is not a time where you want to make a rookie mistake, realize the guy's got more chips or it's not your turn to act. She's just kind of overthinking everything right now. Yep. Vicky just called. We're going to the turn. It's a 10. So Fandero now picks up a gut shot to a straight. He checks to Vicky. And Vicky must bet here because even though she has two pair, there are cards that can come on the river that she will not like into a pot of 2.2 million. She will bet a million, roughly half pot. Four million. And that's a third of Fundero's remaining stack. I think he has to make a decision now. I think he's gonna be shoving a lot of the time here. He, does. he shoves! And Vicky calls! No tank this time. And we are on the verge of making history on the European Poker Tour. Vicky Curran gets it in ahead. What a sweat. Giacomo Fundero needs an ace, king, 10 or seven. He has 12 outs, any other card on the river, and we have our first two-time EPT champ. 
Just an unreal tense moment right now. If you're ever going to pray, Vicky, Easter Sunday is the day to do it. The entire poker world calling for a deuce. No ace, no king, no ten, no seven. It's a oh! brick! It's a brick! <laughs> Vicky Curran has done it! She is the first player in the history of 10 seasons of the European Poker Tour to win two main event titles. And I cannot think of a better ambassador for the game who reaches so many facets of life to have accomplished this task. You play very good, congratulations. In front of a huge audience, maybe one of the biggest we've ever had on EPT Live. And just look at the emotion on her face. She doesn't even believe it's over. Vicky Curran shell-shocked. She is congratulated by tournament director Toby Stone. Vicky, you were the 16th EPT champion. Now you're also the 98th EPT champion. You are the first person in history to do this. Please tell us how you feel right now. If I'd known I was going to have to explain how I feel, I wouldn't have drunk so much wine. You absolutely knew you were going to have to say how you feel. That's what everyone asks. I didn't think I was going to win. I came back the short stack. I was genuinely, I was happy with eight. I was saying this morning, I feel bad for the people following on Twitter because now they want a big finish and I'm just, I'm going to be eight, maybe seventh, and that's fine and I'm happy. And then I won. I wasn't expecting it. When did it start to dawn on you that it might not be eighth and then might not be sixth and then might not be third? Well, I'm a, a natural pessimist. You know, my grandfather said a pessimist is never disappointed. So... When we were down to seven, I thought I'd be seventh. When we were down to six, I thought I'd be sixth. You know, when I knocked out Jordan, I thought he was gonna win. Uh, you know, he was playing fantastically well. He's an incredibly nice guy, by the way. I was fine with it. I thought I'd be very happy for him. It's okay, you don't have to say what a nice guy is. This is about you. No, genuinely, I thought I'd be happy for him to win. That's nice, I'll take fifth. And then he just got very unlucky. We both had a 10, two 10s came on the board. You know, fate twisted its cruel hands and he was out. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to win. So huge congrats to our very deserving first ever two-time EPT champ. And that is almost it for season 10 of the European Poker Tour, but not quite. We now move down the coast to Monaco for the EPT 10 Grand Final. We've got nine days of live streaming from the Grand Final, and it all starts this coming Thursday, the 24th of April, on PokerStars.tv and the PokerStars YouTube channel. And I'll see you then.